Thomas. Whenever you want to resolve this final memory, I'm waiting for you.
I think... Oh, we're back here. I thought that would have been it, but... <sighs> Just one second. What the hell is going on? Yes, that's it. Not what I expected, if I'm honest, but... The final hurdle hasn't yet been crossed. To think it was here all along in your case. Wait, this isn't right. I don't understand. Thomas, I am. Um, I guess the last question to answer is, how do I fit into all of this? In your memories and in your mind. All your friends from the neighbourhood were here. 
this was the happiest day of your life. It doesn't affect everyone in the same way. He was never violent to either of you. But the soul can be crushed in other ways, and he emotionally drained you both. Too much, too young, too soon. I wanted you to come and live with us across the road. Somewhere I knew you'd be safe. I was at your birthday party, Thomas. Sat there in the garden, you remember. You noticed me and bought me a piece of cake. Always caring. This was a normal family home once. You know that to be true. Take this birthday when you were a young boy. You were happy. A normal, happy family, together at home, living a normal, happy life. Or so a photograph would tell you from a glance. He was rotting from the inside. He was drowning from the poison in his belly. It's only then when the inevitable had reared its ugly head that he realised that he loved you, even if he never really showed it. They did care about you, though, Thomas. Remember your fifth birthday party? She spent hours wrapping your presents and baking your cake. You watched her as she prepared everything. You were so excited. You knew she loved you. In fact, you never questioned that at all. The empathy of a child is a very powerful thing. It wasn't long till he was consumed by intoxication. He was warned, and still he continued. How were you meant to know he was going to go away as well? You just watched him stagger in every evening, always ensuring he got to bed and was safe. I also saw your mother leave that night, watching through my curtains as she drove away. I could always see your home and everything that happened inside. St. Paul's Lighthouse. You climbed down and headed there. You went to hide your father's lamp to light your way. These memories aren't happy, Thomas, but they are important. They shaped you into who you are today. They made you human. You could only think of one place that you might be safe, and it wasn't with them. You watched from up here, wanting her to just stop and come back. You didn't understand why she was leaving. You knew she had to. But she had to leave that day. She had to get out of there. Still, she should have taken you with her. She wasn't happy, and she couldn't be a wife to a drunk. Too many times he came in late. Too many times he just didn't care. They did love each other once, when they were young. He was a romantic, and she fell for him. He was always unaware without a care in the world, lost in his own misery, unable to care for you. Night after night, week after week, month after month. Running away was the best thing to do. You didn't know who was taking you away or where. A lost soul in a sea of uncertainty. Frightened and scared. You know, you always were a wonderful artist. Yet, these memories are all yours. Everyone an experience from your life. Some of them we were together and others only you experienced. Lost in your own illness, your mind fought to save as much as it possibly could by creating this confused world of fantasy and reality. 
these core memories from your childhood, they made you who you are today, traumatic as they are. But it truly was the only way that you could understand who you are as an individual. You're being treated with validation therapy, and you're struggling to feel alive. Sat in that leather chair, in that care home, day in, day out. That was the last time I saw you for a very long time. But it wasn't the last time I held your hand. I always wanted to find you. And I did. I did find you. All those years later. It's time we face this. Please, Thomas, sit down. Mr. Fletcher? Mr. Fletcher? Thomas? Hello, it's me, Dr. Redmonds. You want me to sit? Okay, let me just grab a chair. I've bought two of your favourite things today. Sorry, what was that, Thomas? Oh, of course I'll hold your hand. Would you like to see what I've bought you? Let's look at this one first. I think it'll mean a lot to you. Oh... Thomas. Oh, let me wipe those tears. Does this lamp mean something? Uh, can, can, uh, uh, of course. Of course you can. Here. Did your father give you this lamp, Thomas? Is that why it's important to you? That's why it's important. Let me get closer, Thomas. I can't quite hear you. That's not why it's important. Why is it so important? Because... Because my, my wife... She, she kept it for me. For all those years when I was taken away from here. From Pinwheel? Yes, yes. <clears throat> but she... Where, where is she? I... I want to see her. Thomas, I... I when did you last see Jean? I... I, I, I saw her. I, I, I'm sure... That, well, uh, you've done very well today, Thomas. I am. Um, I do have another item for you, though. I think this will help you remember. I mean, I hope it will. Would you like me to wind it up for you? Okay, here it goes. This is, this is so beautiful. I, I wish Jean was here to listen. I wish she didn't have to go so soon. So soon. Oh, Thomas. Let's... Let's listen together then, shall we?
I gotta say, Dad, uh, I'm really glad you're having one of your good days. I don't think I could have done this if you, yeah, you know. Thank you, Jim. Just thank you for, for being here. Hey, no need to thank me. Is there anything you need to do first? <laughs> Man, these records are old. <laughs> yes, they're classics, actually. Uh, okay. Oh, some of these records are timeless, Jim. They, they hold memories from before you were even born. Oh, old doesn't always mean classic. Well, we all get old eventually. You'll have your time, I suppose. Great to see you painting again. Did you do all these? Yes, well, one or two. Perhaps a couple more than I'd care to admit. I have been here for quite some time. Dad, these, these are good. You want to take any of these with you? Uh, no, I think that perhaps I'll leave them here. And let everybody else enjoy them. Okay. Hey, you ready to go? Uh, yes. Just a couple more things to pack, I think. Yes, and then it should be ready. Okay. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> 